I don't know why the child has to suffer for the actions of a parent. It's so annoying that you're brought into this world with such an insane lottery that your entire life is decided by who your parents are and what they do. So once again, I just want to clear up that there's no problem with someone choosing to do OnlyFans out of their own free will and choosing to make money that way, okay? There's no problem as long as it's not affecting other people. That's when people get mad. Nobody really cares how you personally choose to spend your one life on this earth, okay? If you wanna make money that way, that's perfectly fine. It's only a problem when it affects other people, like in the last story, a dog, and in this story, uh, your child. I just want you guys to imagine for a second existing in a world where your mom, okay, put yourself in this situation, your mom does OnlyFans, okay, and every single one of your friends from school can see her completely exposed anytime they want for a mere price of five bucks and everybody knows about it. I don't know about you, but the amount of trauma that would be unleashed upon your child is absolutely insane. If you have any semblance of how middle school or high school works at all. You know, in the wild internet digital age that we all live in, everybody is marketing this quick buck strategy, right? People are just gonna go after something that is easy money because that is the way of the internet and that is the dream that we've all been sold. You know, just take off your clothes and you can make six figures. That's a pretty sweet deal. But sometimes, it affects people that you really should be caring about. Real quick, let me just give you guys a little bit of context from my personal experience. I got made fun of in school for being the nerdy guy who gets good grades, which is the most ridiculous thing ever because that's why you're put in school. That was my one job and I did it very well and I got made fun of for doing my job well. I had a friend who got made fun of for the food he bought for lunch. And it was just like a, a sandwich, a regular sandwich that was a little bit weird. His mom put something extra special in there for him. I don't even remember what it is because it was so insignificant, but it was a slightly weird sandwich and he would always get made fun of for it, which is so ridiculous. Kids will find absolutely anything to make fun of you for. And you're telling me little Timmy has to go to school with a bunch of high school boys who can see his mom unclothed i mean rest in peace your high school experience like not even a lifetime of therapy can solve the amount of trauma that kid is about to endure how do you ever have a serious conversation with anybody when the kid is just gonna pull up your phone and shut you up immediately today we look at yet another story of only fans drama except this time it's got a slightly darker undertone a school suspended a child because his mother has an OnlyFans account that is NSFW. So right off the bat, this is ridiculous, bro. I hate this so much. Why does the child have to suffer for the actions of the parent? This, this genuinely pisses me off from in absolutely every regard, seeing how completely helpless the child is in this situation. Listen, I don't know what sort of rules the school has in place or something that this child's mother can't work this certain job or something, but I just feel like this is not justified at all. I mean, if you wanna do any sort of punishment, it, whatever you want to do, maybe you should talk to the parent and say that, hey, maybe you, you can't be doing this if you want your kid to go to my school, something like that. But right off the bat, just suspending the kid and now the kid is getting homeschooled for the rest of his life because of this situation is so ridiculous. You've completely deprived him of his entire like social experience at school. Now, obviously, you got people memeing on it with stuff like this. His teacher be like, hilarious but also i feel bad for the kid man okay taking a look at the story real quick an only fans mom says her son's school suspended him after they found out about the content she makes in her free time another day another only fans scandal this time only fans star uh, sarah is revealing her story in support of fellow creator and florida mom victoria trees who's banned from volunteering Earlier this year, 31-year-old Victoria announced she would be taking action against Orange County Public Schools after she was no longer allowed to volunteer because of her OnlyFans account. In defense of Treese, Cheek revealed how she and her family were discriminated against when her son's school found out about her own OnlyFans videos. Okay, so I'm not too sure about the context behind these whole things. Like, why are schools so mad about what the kids' parents are doing as their careers. Like, 
I don't know. I didn't even know they had that information of like what job the parent is doing, but I, I assume they, they have to just so they can be guaranteed that they're going to pay the fees or whatever. But I don't see how it affects the kid in any way that you're, the parent is an OnlyFans person. Obviously, it probably affects them at home or something, but... Uh, you know, you can still pay the fees and all of that, and the school experience is probably the same as long as the kids and the teachers don't know about the account. Because if they constantly start bringing it up, then the kids experience can probably be altered pretty heavily. And in that case, I would understand why it would be a suspension. I don't even know if it would be called a suspension at that point. It's probably like purposely withdrawing the child from the school because, you know, that got leaked and then he's getting bullied and he's not having a good time so you can put him in another school but this is a completely different situation where the school just removed him for having an only fans mom like that is no fault of the child at all now obviously the the, ch the child is going to suffer for the actions of the parent right so like if your if your parent is i don't know a serial killer or a robber or something they get arrested and uh yeah the child's gonna suffer because they're not gonna have a mom or dad or they get adopted by somebody else they get put in an orphan i don't know something 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 happens it just really sucks to me that people kind of make decisions based on their own selfishness over the interests of their child for example like I, I don't know maybe she could not have anticipated such a situation would happen but i'm really hoping the kid can be put in at least another school where people don't know about the whole situation or something like that i don't know but it seems like the mom's new decision is to homeschool the kid, which obviously no shade to any homeschoolers, obviously. But I do think that social element is a necessary part of people when they're growing up. I don't know. Personally, I, I wouldn't care about it. I was just built a little different, so I don't really like people like that. But most humans are social creatures, right? So, you know, to be completely honest, I actually have no problem with homeschooling as long as the parents are really good people and they can teach the child really well. But... I, I'm not too certain in this case, you know? I think there's a lot of blame to be put on the staff and principal as well. Like, I don't know how the, they keep finding these accounts, honestly. Like, what kind of background research are you doing? I, I don't know if there's something you have to submit in the application when getting your kid in a school that, hey, this is my profession, this is what I do. Do you have to link your account or something? Because they would know immediately, considering they found out later that's not the case, which means somebody has been searching for it or she got a little too popular. They really need to region block their own region and somehow, I don't know, use like 50 hiding software i don't know you're, you're advertising and you're hiding at the same time it's kind of hard but uh yeah man i just feel bad for the kid